guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures. Today, we are at Radio Island. If you look on this map right here, you can see Radio Island is right here in the middle. And over to your left is Moorhead City, North Carolina. And over to the right is Beaufort, North Carolina. So that's why this video is a Adventures in Beaufort, North Carolina video because we are basically right beside Beaufort. Radio Island has a, a public fishing dock and a public boat ramp. So we're going to magnet fish here and see if we can't get anything. We might get some uh, fishing paraphernalia, but hey, more more fishing stuff for my tackle box. All right, guys, we got our trusty rogue magnet. It is like in the 30s right now here. Um, hence the reason why I haven't been out magnet fishing a lot because it is cold. It is freezing cold. But hey, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so while I am undoing my rope, you can see that is Moorhead City. That way to our right, that is all the way to, uh, that takes you to Beaufort. Um, if you can see this way, I don't know if you can see that island over there with the chimney, but that island over there is called Chimney Island. Um, that, that chimney has been on that island, I don't know for how long. Um, as long as I can remember. <laughs> Alright. And it goes. I don't drop all the rope in there first. Alright, so I'm hitting bottom. Alright. Noise. <laughs> Somebody dropped their, uh, their key to their trailer. Oh my god. In the water. Nice. So I just skimmed. And, um, I don't know, it's just a piece of trash. A piece of trash. I don't know if that's a... Just a, a lead ball or a piece of metal ball? I don't know. Huh. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a crank. The handle you just crank with. Nice. Alright, so I got two more docks to look at. Fish, um, boat docks. It sucks because I had to put all my findings over here off to the side because <laughs> I forgot a bucket. Alright, I got a bolt. Some uh, more trash. There's a washer right there. chunk of metal. Nice. I have been to ugh, all of the boat ramps and I found a little bit of stuff so now I'm going to drive over to the fishing dock and we're going to try there. Alright so while I am driving over to the other side to give you a little bit of history of Radio Island all I know is that it is um the island between Moorhead City and Beaufort that you have to drive through if you are coming from Highway 70. I know that Duke University has part of their campus on here as well. Um, Duke University, uh, NC State, I think Chapel Hill as well, both have like a branch of their of the of their schools here um, for marine biology. Um, this area is really known for the marine biology programs. At the, at the universities and colleges here. Um, Carter Community College, where I went to school, they have a big marine biology department. I know UNCW does as well. Um, I also went to school there to get my BA. But they have a big, big biology department there as well because um, Wilmington is also a big coastal area. So that's mainly the only things here on Radio Island besides this um, public fishing dock and part of Duke University. Okay, so we're on the fishing dock. Um, if you do come here, they do have bathrooms over there, which is really nice. Um, I think they've added that in the past couple of years. But they also have a rack over here. You can put your kayaks in. They have a 
kayak access over here on this little beach. Hopefully this summer when it gets warmer, I'm going to do a fishing video. Not not magnet fishing, a fishing video. This dock, I, I actually fish at this dock a lot. So hopefully this summer we can do a fishing video here. and Check it out. But it is a beautiful day here in North Carolina. I'm actually going to walk a little ways down because um, I kept getting stuck on uh, on some oyster beds. Um, that's the tricky part about magnet fishing at the coast around here is um, the oyster beds. I would be super surprised if I don't find any fishing paraphernalia here. Haha, <laughs> told you. Nice. Well, I can't use it in my tackle box because the hook's gone. Well, I might, mm, I might can clean the hook up. I don't know. And also got a um, part of a leader on here. It's all, it's, that's, that's freshly lost. Like, it's new. <laughs> Alright, I got something big on this. This rogue magnet. Oh. Nice! I got a ton of fishing stuff. Got a knife. Heck yeah. I don't know if I can restore it or not. It might be too, uh, too gone. But... That's cool. Then I got this. I don't know what this is. I've never seen that before. It might it might be a weird magnetic bobber? I don't know. Got a screw. I got a rack. <laughs> um, I got a whole bunch of uh, fishing hooks. Nice. All right, I got something else big. Can't tell what it is. Oh, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Heck yeah nice it's a um a thing to hold your fishing pole uh oh i think i feel something heavy on this thing i don't know oh god sweet <laughs> i got another knife and this one is salvageable heck yeah nice I'm hitting knife jackpot today. Got a nice leader. It looks like the leader I use. I, I might be one of mine. I don't know. But dag on. Look at that knife. Alright. So I got this awesome knife. That one will clean up nicely, hopefully. I got a leader. And got some rusty fish hooks. <laughs> got something else. Ugh. I don't know what it is. It's a screwdriver. A brand spanking new screwdriver. Nice. That was just dropped in there. Alright guys, so it is, the sun is setting, it's getting colder. It's supposed to be like in the 20s tonight. My hands are frozen. So I'm going to do a part two of this uh, fishing dock. Um, and plus I am exhausted from fighting this uh, current so I'm going to go back to my truck and do a review on what we found. All right guys, so I'm gonna do my review from inside the truck. Um, I am freezing, my hands hurt. They um, are frozen, I'm frozen, my nose is... So I'm gonna do my review in the truck. All right, so the first thing we got is this. Um, you put it up against like the side of the pier and you stick your fishing pole through it. So hold your fishing pole. Which is cool, and I hope I can get that clean so I can use it this summer. I got a knife. I don't think it's salvageable, but it's still a knife. I got another knife that is salvageable, so I'm cleaning that thing up, and I am putting it in my tackle box. As you can see, attached to it. <laughs> um, so I got a whole bunch of fishing hooks. I got a whole, uh, whole fishing leader. Uh, another fish hook. So I got this as well. Um, it's a pin that you put to, uh, you know, for your trailer when you put the, the, the when you put the hitch onto the ball and you put the little lever down and you stick this through it. And I got a, a handle. Um, it might have come off of um, a, the the wrench, you know, that you use to pull your boat back on your uh, your uh, trailer, your boat trailer. Um, so you know just crank it up like that then uh, that screw I got some uh, pieces of metal 
Um, I got this. It, it, I don't know what this is. It's um, it's magnetic though. It might be a um, a lure, or not not a lure, but a um. I don't know. I don't know what that is. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. And I got a brand new <laughs> screwdriver. I mean, it is new, new. It had just been dropped in there. So if you're interested in purchasing a rug magnet, I will put a link in the description to where you can purchase one. And also use the promo code WallerAdventures10 to get 10% off on your purchase. It is a fun activity to do with your friends and family. Um, this rogue magnet is tough, it is durable, it picks up a lot of stuff. Um, if you have seen my past magnet fishing videos, um, I pulled up some stuff on my old magnet, but this magnet has pulled up a lot more. You know, why not? You can probably go out and find something really cool, or you can, you know, just find a whole bunch of uh, junk. Who knows? So, I hope you enjoyed our magnet fishing trip here at Radio Island. I only got to do half of the fishing pier, so there will be a part two to this video. So be on the lookout for it. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Hey guys, did you enjoy that magnet fishing video? Then check us out on our YouTube channel at Waller Adventures. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified on when we post more videos. Also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. See you soon.